Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone, based on your time, John. Welcome in Salesforce Apex Hour. My name is Amit, and today we are going to talk about Salesforce Prompt Builder. Without taking further minute, let's start about mastering Salesforce Prompt Builder session. So let's start with what is prompt. LLM can help business and team with all short of language based tasks. For example, they can generate a personalized email to a customer and analyze customer feedback and extract key insight. But LLM cannot create great content by themselves. They need some guidance from us in the form of a prompt. So the prompt is a specific instruction or input provided to an AI model to generate a desired output. Now let's talk about what is Salesforce Prompt Builder. So Salesforce Prompt Builder is a way to communicate with the LLM and use generative AI such as ChatGPT in the backend. A good Salesforce Prompt make a night and day difference in generating relevant and effective output based on your intent. So Prompt Builder is a place where you can write your prompt, test your prompt, send it to the chat GPT and see what the output you are getting and check it out. Is that relevant for your business based on the Salesforce record and do the testing and then use based on the different template types. What is the prompt template? Prompt template is a set of instruction which you can send to the LLM to get the desired output. So in Salesforce, the prompt template is a, a template which have a set of instruction with the merge field which you can use from the record and send to the LLM and LLM can generate the response based on that and which you can use further into the different places for the field generation, for email template and etc. Now before getting further delay, let's see how to get started. There are three main steps you have to perform to get started with the prompt template. First thing first, enable the Einstein setup. And then if you want to use the email capability or the sales capability, enable the Einstein for sales and then assign the respective permission set. So let's see what to do. The first step, enable Einstein setup. Go to the setup, search for Einstein setup, then turn on Einstein. The second thing, if you want to use the email capability, enable Einstein for sales, go to the setup, search for Einstein for sales, then turn on sales emails. Then don't forget to assign the respective permission set. There are two major permission, prompt template manager and the prompt template user. Assign the respective permission set to the user. Let's look into the Salesforce app. So go to the setup. Then search for Einstein setup. Click on it. Turn on Einstein. My in my org, it is already enabled. If it is disabled in your org, then please enable it. Now, second option in Einstein for sales. If you want to use the sales feature, enable this one. I already enabled this feature. Uh, if it is not enabled in your org, please enable. Now let's go back to the prompt. Now let's see which all permissions I need to assign to the user. Click on the permission. So you can see there are two permissions are there. Prompt template manager and prompt template user. So if you want to build and use the prompt builder, assign this to you. And if you want to use the template, just use this one. 